there has been some concern about sulforaphane possibly competing with iodine for transport into the thyroid, uh, and hence, you know, a potential what's called goitrogen, which is something that can disrupt the production of thyroid hormones, uh, particularly for pe- people that are uh, iodine deficient, which or have mm. hypothyroidism. Again, that's a concern um, mostly you find in blogs and stuff. If we actually look at the scientific data, um, for example, clinical data, healthy people that were, you know, that don't obviously have iodine deficiency or hypothyroidism, but they're healthy and they're given the amount of isothiocyanates. So sulforaphane is a, a part of a broader family called isothiocyanates. They were given the amount that's roughly equivalent to what you'd find in like 70 grams of broccoli sprouts there uh, daily for a week. And there was no negative effects on thyroid hormones, no toxicity on liver or anything like that. So the question is, what about people? What about the context of like iodine deficiency? By the way, that's very rare um, these days. Yeah. I mean, you can just get a sea snack at, at Whole Yeah. Foods, well, every, right? and also just most salt, the, people are eating things with salt and their salts iodized mostly if you're getting any type of processed foods and stuff too, right? Mm-hmm. There was a long-term study published last year in animals where rats that were iodine deficient or had hypothyroidism induced by a drug, they were given large quantities of broccoli sprouts for a long period, this is a long-term study. And there was zero effect on thyroid hormones. There was no change in thyroid stimulating hormone, no change in T3 or T4. None of those hormones were affected in these rats that were iodine deficient or had hypothyroidism. Um, In fact, animals that had hypothyroidism, broccoli sprouts actually exerted a beneficial effect on their thyroid because it increased glutathione. (laughs) Wow, crazy. So there you have it. Um, You know, should you be concerned if you have hypothyroidism, potentially, I don't, you know, the thing to do would be to do a baseline thyroid test and then do one after, you know, a month or, or however long of, of, you know, your broccoli sprouts and or supplement, right? Measure something. I mean, always talk to your doctor with this stuff, you know, that's the best, best advice. But I'm still super Um, excited about it for sure. 